South have asked the government to reopen the Kenya border so as to boost cross-border trade. And the leaders say the residents can benefit from the reopening of the border to allow business activities between the two counties between the two countries rather to thrive since the residents of northeastern had been deprived of their economic mainstay by severe drought ahmed hussein reports calls for the reopening of the cross-border trade between kenya and somali communities are growing louder speaking during jamhuri day in the border town of Dif, but your south mp mohammed ado said the custom offices will help in boosting the economy of the country through export and import of goods and hence improving the livelihoods of the people in the area. Kuna ukosefu wa opportunities. Tuna vijana wengi hawana kazi. Na kama serikali ingefungua mpaka baina Somalia na Kenya, tungeweza kufanya biashara na inchi jirani. Ili vijana wapati ajira. Na maendeleo ya wajia south kwa jimla. Tafadhali tunataka watu wa KRA wakuja hapa, hata kula lando umepatiwa hapa. Although says the people of Wajia have suffered from severe droughts that completely wiped out their main livelihoods and the move is long overdue. Because right now we are missing a lot on taxation. We are missing a lot on tax at the border. We need that income. We need to create opportunities for our youth. MP Ado also asked the government to boost security along the border, especially now that the national examinations are ongoing. To attack police are both um, administrations on both sides of the border Yahakikisha Kwamba security is maintained at the border especially at this time when we have the national examinations going on Iyo now see for that security officers also ask the public to be vigilant and to report any suspicious movement along and across the border to maendelea kutumia style ya kushirikiana na wensetu upande wa div somalia to Akisha Kwamba, Boda Yetu, via Kenya, Somalia, Iko, Iko, na Usalama, Wahalia Ju. The sub county was upgraded by the government to a fully fledged district, but is still unable to take off. Residents now hope the government will open the border to help them improve their livelihood through trade. I'm the same, KT News, at DIF, the border of Kenya and Somalia. Now, cases of domestic violence and suicide have increased in the region of Moranga South Sub-County. This is according to areas.